the perfect. The shrimp, when it's handled right, is one of the most perfect ingredients around. But all too often, I think, when, we, when you taste it someplace, it's been overcooked, it's dried out, either that or it gets to that point where it's kind of limp. To me, the absolutely perfect shrimp dish is the salt-roasted Santa Barbara spot prawns that Michael Simarusti cooks at Providence. It's firm, but it's incredibly moist. And then you know, it's garnished so delicately, just a little bit of very, very good olive oil, a little bit of lemon just to lift it, and you're there. I wanted to do something that we could, that we could really sort of um you know, capture their, their vitality and their essence. And I thought, you know, just roasting them in salt uh, live would be the quickest and easiest way to do that. You find them anywhere from here uh, in Southern California all the way up to the coast of Alaska. These come from very local waters. They're very challenging to work with because you pretty much have to take them in a live state and just cook them immediately or serve them raw. So we just trim off the swimmerettes right here because they tend to just collect lots and lots of salt and makes it unpalatable. All this stuff is really good to make a broth or an infusion. You know, I used to work at Danielle, and uh, Sota was a chef de cuisine there, and he's a Buddhist. Every time he would uh, like throw a lobster in boiling water or do something like this, he would look up and he'd go, I'll never go to Nirvana. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> the salt is here, and it's been in the oven for about an hour at this point. Basically, all we're going to do is create a bed for the prawns with the salt, and then we'll just strip some needles of rosemary. It really turns heads because the aroma of the rosemary just pervades the dining room. We just lay the prawns on the bed of salt, and then we just need to cover them over with a little layer of salt, like that. And we just put them in the oven for three minutes. Just put the lid on like that, and then we'll send it out in the dining room. When it's covered, it acts like you're almost steaming the shrimp in its own juice. There's no extra flavors that are added. It's only an intensification of what is already there. The chef already has a window of time to have them back in the oven for about four minutes. And by the time they come out into the, from the kitchen to the dining room is another minute. So I need to get them out of the salt in another minute. So at the most, within the time that they leave the tank on the cutting board is about five minutes. Yes, I did lose a shrimp. He flew away because he was not very happy. He wanted to go back with his friends and uh, I lost it, he went under the table. Nobody saw it but me and the shrimp, obviously, and his friends. And they tried to scap away too, but uh, I caught them on time, so. This is the way it should be presented. Voila, here we are. Enjoy. Oh, thank you, Donato, that's beautiful. Look at the quality of the meat. You can just see the moistness in it. The colors are just so vivid here. It's, it's so natural, but it looks almost like it's been composed. It's sweet, it's nutty, the meat is firm, but it's still moist. The head is actually the best part because there's a lot of fat in the head that really keeps the meat moist. There's also a little bit of texture that you get with the head because there's still a little bit of the cartilage in it. So it's a little bit of the crunch. It's like kind of when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you eat the salt pepper shrimp, you have a little bit of shell on there. It actually makes the dish taste better. I hate to go all kind of California wonky, but it kind of reminds you of like of how wonderful shellfish can be.